What's going on everybody? Welcome to a new video. We're here at Sea Beach's garage. And today is gonna be another epic video because we're gonna be reviewing and showing you the audience what Metalcore Wire is all about. Are you excited for this? I am. Mr. Beach Nuggets? Because yep. I'm stoked for it. I love Metalcore. It's one of my favorite wires. Uh, and hopefully today you get some benefit of watching this video so stick around don't leave the channel and before we go to the next phase make sure you give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because me and Corey appreciate it don't we We do we do all right let's move into what is metalcore all right guys we got the select arc 70 c6 loaded into the machine and a diameter of 045 um, the 70C, C standing for cord wire versus like a 70S6, uh, where the S would stand for solid. Um, the corded wire is a tubular wire similar to a pixie stick. It's got powder inside of it. Um, different from a flux core where we're not going to have slag to chip off. Um, and with this corded wire, it's recommended or needs a shielding gas and what we're using is what they recommend a 90 10 90 percent argon 10 percent co2 here you can see we have a 10 pound spool of the 70 c6 you can get this in tens 44s 60 pound spools and also drum packs so i'm using a neural drive wheel for this corded application uh, the reason i use knurled versus a solid wire or a solid wheel um, is because the knurling on the drive wheel itself helps grip the wire without crushing it and taking it out of round. I have my regulator set right about 30 to 35 CFH. Go ahead and hit that purge. So I use the middle of the bowl there um, and set it on the line of where I want it. All right, so we got the Transseal 2700 set up for metal core 045 with an 8 to 12 percent CO2. We can also select a 25 percent CO2 um, here. I have it in synergic mode, and Select Arc has a spec sheet. For minimum and maximum wire feed speed for set material that you can see here in the description. Now I know all of you want to get to welding as soon as possible. So check out this lovely stack of coupons that we're going to weld up with metal core. So you can see what it's really like to weld with it. But before that, we're going to the advantages and disadvantages of metal core. One of the biggest factors with metal core is higher current density in comparison to traditional 70S6 solid wire. What does the higher current density provide you in regards to advantages? Well, it gives you increased deposition rates. So what are deposition rates? Uh, deposition rates are how many pounds of wire you can put in a given material in a 60 minute period. So if you're increasing your pounds per hour, it means more production, more parts out the door. So typically metal core versus traditional 70S6 wire, you see about a 30% increase in deposition rate. Uh, another benefit to metal core is better penetration in the root. So if you're welding thicker gauge stuff or based on your code and you're looking for better pen penetration profiles, you know, metal core provides better, better penetration and also sidewall fusion. And when you talk about uh, multi-pass welding, post or pre-cleanup isn't is critical because with metal core, um, it has less silicon islands, so you can weld right over if you're doing multi-pass. But also if you have dirty material or any material with mill scale, it's going to give you similar qualities like flux core where it won't disrupt the arc. The number one disadvantage for metal core is cost. Uh, this is going to be the biggest impact when you look at your numbers in regards to transitioning from solid wire 70S6 to metal core. It runs in a range of 30 to 40 percent more per pound. Um, so you need to calculate what your production time and your part volume is before you make that 
uh, determining factor on switching to metal core. The other one is traditionally the, the positions of metal core are flat and horizontal only. So you're not gonna be running this out of position. Um, if you are gonna run out of position, you're gonna need some type of advanced welding equipment like pulse welding machines or you'll see uh, most companies transition to a all position flux core to run vertical ups. Um, so flat and horizontal only. And then your benefits based on penetration profiles, you're really gonna wanna get into a spray uh, transition or a high wire feed speed to get the benefits of penetration and sidewall fusion. Fundamental time. So here we have a fillet weld. This is a horizontal T-joint. And here, uh, one of the things to keep in mind is your torch angle. So you're gonna want like a 15 to 30 degree push. So a push is you're pushing the material down the plate. What's a drag? A drag is this. Anytime you're traditionally running any type of spray arc, uh, you're gonna wanna run a push angle uh, to get the benefits of the penetration profiles. You can drag it. It's just your penetration profiles are probably going to change a little bit. So push is the best. Secondly is your contact tip to work distance. This is going to range based on your wire feed speed and volts. So if you're running, let's say 250 inches a minute and up, you're going to want a minimum of a half inch contact tip to work distance up to five eighths. Now, if you're running short circuit, which you can with metal core, you're going to start off with quarter inch contact tip to work distance all the way up to three eighths. I'm going to lay a weld down with metal core on this quarter inch fillet at 290 inches a minute at 23.6 volts set on the Transteel 2700 and I'm just going to run a traditional push angle like I said. No trick photography from start to finish just to show you how easy it is to weld this. And I'm gonna flip it around. So you can see from start to finish, no spatter, a clean seam surface, pretty easy, smooth running. You could hear it diving into the material. T joint, horizontal, ready. good so fast it's hard to keep up with eighth inch plate metal core pretty good we're gonna do multi-pass see how many passes it takes to fill at 290 inches a minute you ready yeah. my hands gonna be toasty dude here we go right in the center Beach. 
Pass two. This might need four passes. Here's my third pass. I'm gonna lay it over both. I don't know what the fill's gonna look like. It might end up being five passes. Here we go. So it didn't fill all the way up to the edge. You know, uh, I'm gonna try to run another one right here and just see what it looks like. You ready? It's gonna be hot. We're gonna have to go quick. Ready? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Five passes. You see multi-pass, look how fast that is. And again, we're 285 inches a minute, 24.6 volts on the Fronius Transteal 2700, single phase power. Here we have a quarter inch lap joint fillet weld. To get the benefit of metal core on this, you know, obviously you want the increased travel speed for deposition. So I would suggest running this in two or three passes. So I'm going to run this in three just to show you how much time it takes to run a multi-pass quarter inch fillet weld with metal core. You ready? Okay, mm -hmm. first pass. I'm running about a three quarter inch stick out. Contact at the work distance. And I'm focusing right at the weld joint. See how uniformed it is? My speed. Good luck trying to get that type of speed with solid wire. Okay, now my second pass, I'm gonna run right about here so it washes halfway up on the first pass. And I'm gonna run about a three quarter inch contact tip to work distance again. That way I can run my increased speed. Ready? Mm-hmm. Okay, third pass. I'm gonna lay it right above here. So right on this, close to this leg of the second pass. And just watch the third. You ready? So you can see even my travel speed is a little slow. It's rocking down a little too far over that second pass. So I definitely should increase my travel speed. So we're gonna turn this wire down. See like right there, you saw the sensor kick on. That's telling you you're transitioning from spray to globular and now you're short circuit. So let's try there 140 inches a minute.
So what do you think? It's freaking hot. All right, let's turn it down. Way too hot. Could have done material thickness. You said it's 80 thousands? Yeah. 120 inches a minute is what it's saying. Let's do this. We just did material thickness in synergic mode. Yeah, make sure that. Okay, you ready? Yes. So you can short circuit metal core, which is good. Cause if you are doing any thinner gauge stuff in your garage, you have the possibility of spray or short circuit. What does the bottom burn through look like? Not much. So short circuit runs pretty good. Yeah. See a variety of well coupons we did. We got thin short circuit. We have multi-pass lap joint, single pass lap joint, eighth inch, half inch multi-pass, uh, half inch lap joint, quarter inch single pass, horizontal T joint, Eighth inch T joint, a little weave test on half inch plate, and a, another T joint horizontal fillet weld short circuit. So you can see all these different applications. What was your favorite? I use Becker's stuff. The tin stuff ran. It ran good. Uh, super spatter free. Um, kind of just sit, relax a little. Mm -hmm. Definitely could increase your speed, so the 30% is definitely real as far as increase of travel speeds and deposition. Uh, some applications for this, obviously multi-pass welding, so if you're doing thicker weldments, maybe you're a manufacturer building cranes as an example, and you're running one inch plus material, maybe this would be a good substitute for your flat and horizontal weldments to eliminate some of the flux core. Get some of the smoke out of your shop. Uh, some other applications could be general fabrication. You know, I noticed on eighth inch plate, you can really haul as far as speeds go, even on eighth inch plate. So for general fabrication, if you're looking to speed up production, maybe for that customer project uh, in your shop, there would be a, an area of use. Production, obviously production, you'd get the most benefit out of this. If you're running a uh, repetition of parts, I would say would be the biggest benefit to metal core because nothing's changing. You don't know if your projects are going to change and you get that benefit of 30 percent increase the number one application i think for metal core in my opinion is anything automated definitely automated robotic semi-automated with the track system and the reason for that is you can keep your speeds consistent on some of the wire feed speeds i don't know if you notice it's hard to keep the the speed uh, correct without getting overflow, especially on multi-pass. It was definitely quicker, but the bead appearance was cleaner. Um, there's literally no cleanup. I mean, a little smoke, little little bitty spatters, but nothing nothing too bad coming from me liking 70S6. I, I almost like this a little better for some stuff. Mm -hmm. So again, appreciate it. Thanks for watching the metal core video. Click down in the description to see where you can get yourself uh, a Trans Steel 2700 where you can find the select arc wire and then any other details. Thanks again. Thanks, Corey, for letting us use your garage. See you in the next video. Adios.